guys, my name is Laura and today I have a playing with makeup video for you guys. So recently from Priceline I did pick up the Australis Fake Eyed or Fake ID palette. It looks like this and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've only swatched a few shades in store. I swatched this one and I think I swatched the pink, I'm not too sure. But they swatched so gorgeous so I was like, you know what, I need to pick this up. I did buy it on sale so I did get it for about $14 or $15 but full retail it's about $25 or $24.95 or something like that. Which I don't really think is too badly priced considering you're getting 15 eyeshadows. I haven't used this palette yet so I can't really say the quality but I guess that's what we'll find out today. I'm going to start off by using this shade right here as my transition colour. This shade's actually really, really nice. Like, I don't think that's badly pigmented at all. And you don't get a whole heap of pickup with it at, at all either. Like, you do get a little bit, but that's to be expected. But you don't get, like, a whole ton. Like, you don't just dip your brush in there and, like, you get all this powder just fly out in, like, a little puff. And for those wondering, I'm using a Zoeva 228 crease brush. Just going in with the same shade, but on a different brush. This one is the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. I really like that shade. I am getting a little bit of pickup though, though, if you can see that at all, like just that little cloud of powder around it. I'm going to go into this shade right here. I've also never heard anyone talk about this palette either, which I think is surprising considering it's such a pretty palette from the drugstore. Oh my goodness, that shade is so pigmented. And they're not patchy either, which is really nice. This is a Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer Brush. I'm not even joking with you guys. I feel like this is one of the best quality palettes from the drugstore that I've used. Like, I've only used two of the matte shades so far, but they're really, really, really good. Like, I've used palettes from the drugstore before, and they've been okay, and I do like them. But this one, I think, is, like, one of my favorites. Like, I know it's early on, but fingers crossed. Like, obviously, if you don't like the shades, maybe skip out on this palette. But if you do like the colours, I do think it's quite nice. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this shade right here. It's not completely matte, but it's not shimmery either. And I'm going to apply that underneath my brow bone. If you like a matte highlight, then don't use this shade. Because it does have a little bit of glitter to it. Or a little bit of shimmer to it. Once it's applied to the skin. But nothing like over the top, you know? Part of me really wants to do like a colourful, bam, like just so gorgeous look but then a part of me just wants to like tone it down and just keep it kind of mellow um, because I do have places to go today so I feel like I'm just going to use this pink shade if you guys want then I can do another look using this palette because I really want to play around with the greens and stuff in this palette as well but I'm going to take this pink just on a flat brush and we'll see how good it is if it's not that good then I'll use my finger it's actually pretty decent considering I'm using like a brush like some of my higher end shadows aren't even this good like using a brush. I have to use my finger. You guys are not even going to believe this. Last night, I stepped on a wasp. Like it like bit the side of my foot. It was so painful for so long. Like I was in my house, I was getting ready to fake tan. And then I just feel this like prick. And I was like, what on earth was that? Like what on earth was that? And then I find this like little like creepy, scary looking bee like wasp thing just like looking at me like ready to attack me again and I'm like no this is not happening today and I ran out of my house like this is actually so nicely pigmented like if you were to take off the label and like it didn't say Australis on it I wouldn't even think that it was drugstore I really like it what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna see if I can make it even more intense oh my god they're so buttery smooth it does make it a little bit more intense but not that much Gonna take a little bit of the sparkly black in the top corner. Oh my god, that's so pigmented. That's so pigmented, oh my god. I like dust off all the excess and it's still so intense on my eye. At least for me, I don't like a super intense black, don't ask me why, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take the first shade that I used, which was the, which was just this brown. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so tongue tied. Just gonna brush that along my lower lashes. Normally I like to run my transition colour on my lower lash line as well before I use the other shades just to make them easier to blend. These shadows are so blendable though, like you don't even understand. That looks like it's not blended but it's just my bone structure, I promise. Okay, so now I'm going to take this colour here. Okay, I'm starting to get the tiniest bit of fallout but that is okay. 
I feel like I have enough eyeshadow on my eye for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on lashes and I'll see how it looks. You know what I might actually do? I might put a little bit of that green on the lower lash lines. That's like a pink and green look. I'm just going to get that green right there. Should have done this before my mascara, but that's okay. Oh, that looks so cool. I really like it. It's only something really, really subtle, but I really like it. What do you guys think? Do you like the look? Because I'm obsessed. I love the lashes. And they're not like super intense, but they're still like very full. Like they're not super long, but they're still very, very full. And I just love the pink, the like bluey black and then the green. I just love it so much. Oh my goodness. I'm actually really, really impressed with that palette. To be honest, I didn't really have much of an expectation at all, but I actually really do think it's pretty good. Like I would definitely take it out with me next time if I was going like traveling or something. I don't travel with just one palette, don't get me wrong, but it would definitely be one that I would consider taking with me and I'll definitely use it again. Like, no joke, I probably will use it later today. <laughs> I really, really like the palette. I really like how the look turned out. Definitely let me know what you think of this look down below. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.